Hello folks, um, today I'm going to talk about more, more examples about series, actually this is just one example uh, related to the telescoping series. Um, the ones that we compute the sum Sn, the partial sum Sn directly, so um, The problem is this, the sum n from 1 up to infinity 2 over n squared plus 2n is convergent, divergent, that's the question, and, and the problem asks us this, like, find its sum. So when it says find its sum, that means for, for a problem of this type, of course you can use, for example, limit comparison test to really get the answer that this is convergent, but to find its sum, since this is not geometric, the other option is just a telescoping series. Um, that you're gonna try to find out the partial sum Sn. So first, you you can see. I mean, I have we have n squared plus two n. You can really factor this one as n times n plus two. Okay. So so if you have two over n squared plus two n, you really can write this one as a over n plus b over n plus 2. So that's what we have. We, we really write down the partial fraction decomposition. Partial fraction um, decomposition. So next you can see you can multiply this one by n plus 2 and you multiply, you just try to set, I mean, basically not that one, but you're multiplying, let me just write it in that form, you multiply both sides by n times n plus 2 to get rid of the denominator. And then you can see we're going to get, if you multiply n plus 2 by a over n, n's will cancel, so you will just get this, 2 equals a times n plus 2 plus b times n. So that's what we have. And you can see if you plug in if you plug in n equals 2 in this sum, you're gonna get oh I'm oh not n equals 2, n equals 0 first. If you plug in um, n equals 0. So in this case we're gonna get 2 equals a times 2 plus b times 0, c b times 0 is simply 0, so we get 2a equals 2, so a must be 1. And if you, if you next plug in n equals negative 2, all the n's are positive, this is true for every n, so you can really plug in uh, negative 2 for this case, that will really give us the correct b. And if I plug in negative 2, you're going to see 2 equals a times 0 plus b times negative 2. See, that one will be 0. Negative 2, b will be 2, so b must be negative 1. So our, so our actual series, which was sum 2 over n squared plus 2n, and you see n starts by 1, goes up to infinity can be written as the sum n starts from 1 up to infinity so a was 1 b was negative 1 so that will be 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2 so by this way you can see this is really a telescoping one in a telescoping one you really find the sum Sn. So let's just find Sn. Sn, it's just the, um, we just know this is the nth partial sum. That was Sn, and we remember we defined that one to be a1 plus a2 plus of all terms added up to the nth term. So let's just do that here. So. If I write Sn for this specific problem, for if n is 1, look, if n is 1, that will be 1 minus 1 over 3, 
plus if n is 2 that will be 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 you see there's no cancellation in two consecutive terms but in the kind of like the odd terms and the even terms there will be some cancellation for example if you look at the look at the next one that will be 1 over 3 and then minus 1 over 5 see this 1 over 3 here will cancel by this but um, here this 1 over 3 cancels by this 1 over 3 but if you really just continue in this manner and then I mean the final terms that you're gonna get when you have n minus 1 that will be 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over u add 2 so that will be n plus 1 and plus the last one which is 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2 so that's really this is this is uh, kind of let me just write this with a different color but this is this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 and you see this is like a n minus 1 and this is a n so we just add all the terms up to a n so there will be cancellation but there's a really cool way to find this out easily look at this let's first let's first write down um, let me just go to the next page but yeah let me just go to the next page and if you if you write down first the positive ones you can really look at that but the positive ones will be we're gonna get 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus we'll just go up to 1 over n let me just write that 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 over n you can really look at that list one more time if you look at the negative ones it will be 1 minus it was it was negative 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5 minus and so on and a minus 1 over n plus 1 and the minus 1 over n plus 2 so you can really list them easily like these are the positive ones so kind of like this one was the first term that one was the second term that was like a1 it was 1 minus 1 over 3 the second one a2 was 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 and then a3 was 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 I'll just show you here this way and then this was what this was a m minus 1 and that was simply a n remember just from the previous page now what we do is this so you add them together this is your sum s n and you can see now I'm going to do this with another color but you see like two consecutive terms doesn't cancel but the next term like the old ones for example here the first one will cancel with the third one here negative 1 over 4 will cancel with the next one here 1 over 5 will cancel with the next one here this one you see like one previous one 1 over n plus 1 will be 1 over n cancels by this and there will be 1 over n minus 1 here will be which will be cancelled by this you will never get an n plus 1 and n plus 2 here because it stops at n and it started by 1 over 3 so really these two terms and these two terms remains here those are the only ones like let me just draw in this way so these two cancels and these 1 over 4s will cancel by something and 1 over 5s will cancel by something and here 1 over n's will cancel by this 1 over n minus 1 will cancel by this so kind of like there's a not consecutive cancellation but the old ones cancels and even ones cancels but like third one here with the first one second one here with the fourth one third one here with the uh, fifth one and so on and then if you add them together of course you see the SN will be 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2 and and as we know, the sum of a n, our series, is just the limit of s n. So that will be just limit of 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2. And you can see if, if I mean, we, we definitely know that n goes to infinity here. So if n goes to infinity, this quotient will go to 0. And that quotient will go to zero. You you can see that the bottom that goes to zero as well because the bottom 
bottom goes to infinity. The bottom goes to infinity, so a number over infinity goes to zero. So the limit will be simply uh, 1 plus 1 over, th 1 over 2, which is just 3 halves. So that's the sum. So since, since we find the sum to be 3 halves, uh, we can really we can just write this series this series uh, converges to three halves. So it's converging and it converges to three halves. So that's an example to a telescoping series. Thanks for watching.